What do young people learn at a Kuro Dojo? Programming skills is usually one of the first uh, skills people mention, but as well as learning how to make visual animations in Scratch, websites using HTML, making them more interactive with JavaScript, using App Inventor to make mobile applications, or using Python to build hardware projects. What they don't realize is that there's so much more skills learned. In- Young people develop a confidence with technology, an understanding of technology and the confidence in one's own ability to create with it alleviates much of the fears which stem from uncertainty in relation to how we relate to technology and the future. Real world applications. Our project focused approach not only helps young people learn the knowledge and skills, but also helps them recognize how these are applied in real world situations so they can adapt them to the changing needs of their users. Creativity is important, not only for adapting to our fast paced world, but for self-fulfillment, personal development and self-expression. Doing this through technology offers a way for young people to express themselves in a unique, novel and relatable way to their experiences. Communication and teamwork. Being able to talk to others with different skills and experiences, learning how to discuss issues and find solutions, and understanding and managing tasks as part of a group are all really useful skills developed through a dojo experience. Critical thinking. The rise of fake news and spread of misinformation through social networks mean that critical thinking is more necessary than ever. Developing young people's ability to critically assess what they read and develop the skill set to examine bias, to seek out reputable sources and references of information is really important. Empathy enables us to resonate with others and consider their situation. Young people care about making things that help others and improve their lives designing, developing and iterating projects with the users in mind helps young people think and put themselves in other people's shoes. Trial and error are necessary and useful parts of coding and debugging and they encourage young people to persevere and develop their own resilience. There are many other skills that I haven't gone into depth here such as leadership through youth mentoring or peer-to-peer support or presentations where young people share their projects at the end of a session or even at a coolest projects event. It can also help parents recognize and realize that they too can be mentors and volunteer at the club. Some parents are afraid that they don't have enough technical skills without realizing all the other skills that they can bring to the club to help young people develop.